Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to understand how to use Jupyter Lab and VS Code inside Posit Workbench. This is a screen of Posit Workbench which I have configured inside a Linux based Azure virtual machine. You can see there are a few active sessions which I have created. What I will do? I will create a new session and select Jupyter Lab. I'll give the name as Jupyter Lab Demo and click on Start Session. You can see a fresh new session of Jupyter Lab has started. So what I will do? I will create a new Python 3 kernel and save it as Jupyter Lab Demo. And click on. We'll do some simple data cleaning. Let's start with loading of Panda. Then I will use sample data, which is a bird's eye of clinical trial available on internet. I will share the link of the data on description. So this command has loaded the data. Then I will see what is the structure of data. So we have the mm, columns like uh, sponsor, then start month, status, condition. Let's explore the individual columns. Like let's start with what is the shape of data. So there are around 13,000 records. And then see how the data is spread across different status. So completed has most number of records and finally we will see how the count of each sponsors. GSK. So this is how we can work on the Jupyter Lab inside Polit Workbench. Uh, there are a few basic configuration which has to be done before we start working in Jupyter Lab. Like first the Python has to be installed on the workbench then our studio workbench has to be configured with python so the the steps are clearly explained in the documentation of polit workbench you can refer to that and start working jupyter lab for your data science activity now i will show how to use visual studio code inside polit workbench so we'll again create a new session click on vs code and give the name demo and click on start session. The environment will automatically come. I will show two things. First is how to create Python dash app using VS code in the Posit Workbench environment. We will test that application and finally we are going to deploy this application into Posit Connect, which is hosted on a separate virtual machine. Let's start. To save time, I have already created an app. It is based on the data which I have used in the previous session of Jupyter Lab. This app is going to show the bar plot of the status. So let's see. I will run this. As you can see, there are like folder structure, which is commonly used in any of the dash app. So I will not go through it in this more detail. I will run this. And you can see it's mentioning that dash is running on HTTP 1 to say localhost basically. Since whole platform is on posit workbench, this link will not work. We will go to the extension posit workbench here there is a mapping bird side view so we click on the link a new tab will open and you can see the dashboard here so the we have the name of the company here in the filter and the bar plot is appearing here so we will click if we change on the company name the count will change so here the app is working perfectly fine. 
now I am going to deploy it on RStudio Connect. The first step is I will activate the virtual environment. The next step is I will add the posit connect server. So this is a command. And the last is I will deploy. We are using going to use RS Connect to deploy to the posit workbench. Okay, we are not in the correct directory. So let me go to the correct directory project dash private. Now we we'll see what is the content bird side and we click on and you can see there are two links appearing and the application. The dash application is deployed to the R Studio Connect. Then go. We'll click on the link here and see if it is working. Yes. So you can see the same map has been is working on R Studio Connect. See the filters are working. Mark. Yes. So this was a small introduction on how to use Jupyter Lab and VS Code inside Posit Workbench. I hope you liked the video.